Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we continued to work on Dandelion's quest, and I foolishly thought that we would be wrapping that up and Gwent games and be off to Skellige, and none of that happened. <laughs> so in today's video, we're going to continue to work on the quest that came after Dandelion's quest, which is Cardinal Sins, where we are, I'm assuming, looking for this serial killer style person who hurt Dandelion's Priscilla and our friend Priscilla, because I would say that Geralt would consider her a friend because she helped us find Dandelion and Dudu and, and all of that. So the next thing we need to do is to examine the place where the woodcarver died. This was another one of the victims of the serial killer. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go with it called serial killer. Um, hmm. Did I? Oh, well, another freak. Huh. And here? Yeah. Anyone home? Be gone! Or I'll sick me hounds on you! Molly! Strigge! Come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer. Looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit your stupid much lie down! <laughs> Come on. Come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming creatures. Well, I haven't seen them yet, but sure. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. <laughs> but better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But asleep sound at least. And you are... So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? <laughs> Damn it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Well, do you know much about the murder? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Would they care about some dwarf? I'm processing a lot of information. <laughs> it's the long pausing. I'm just wondering, like, is it a priest of the like a, a priest of the eternal fire who's doing this? Because it seems like it, or they're setting it up to frame someone for it. But it's a really interesting quest. Anyway, your brother have any enemies? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him? Maybe. It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Are oh, you a good dwarf? Craftsman like no other, but he was an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her? No. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back. Quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. No, she's the one he probably got syphilis from, and it sounds like she died of syphilis too. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Uh huh. Can I draw my weapons? I can draw my weapons. Just all the fist fighting going on lately, I. Like, it's my. It's my game broke. <laughs> All right, let's examine. Bloodstains. 
That's where Phoebe and Leigh when they found him. Okay, let's examine the pyre. There Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Somebody who doesn't like anyone who doesn't like the eternal fire. Someone who doesn't like prostitutes, strumpets, however you want to call it. Concerned citizens sermon. Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm its flames. Fire can prepare our nourishment. Fire can drive off the horrors of the dark, yet fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed its lesson, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds. Um, I'm guessing Priscilla mocked it. And that's why. Appeal to Sir Geralt of Rivia, the bridge his crest. Oh, I feel like I've read that before. There's a script. Oh, this is a script for uh, my fake fight with, with uh, Dandelion. And then polymorphy, to change form to shape one's matter as clay. This is no novice's trick. No flickering glow light or rat killing blue bolt. Only those with bowels soaked in oceans of magic arcana and few are born with bowels so absorbent can hope to master it. There are exceptions, of course. Dragons, as it is well known, possess such a talent innately. With no need for study, they can, guided by some otherworldly intuition, change between humanoid and reptilian form. As for the other races, higher vampires, example, Bruxa are known to flicker between states, yet given the understandable difficulties of conducting research in this area, we do not know if this transition con constitutes an act of polymorphy. Yeah, they might eat you first. The human race is obviously much more accessible to scholars of polymorphy. Their years of study have borne fruit in the form of a set of methods and guidelines for the identification, nurture, and deployment of this talent. The most accomplished result of the careful application of these methods, Philippa Eilhart. She was was the one I was forgetting yesterday, uh, the one who had her eyes scooped out while still alive. Okay, uh, let's see, anything else? Yes, what is this? Murderer dragged something Someone heavy, dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from Murder one wall to the other, repeatedly. Hmm. Oh, it's going here. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Thank you. Oh, this poor guy. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Let's not embarrass me. <laughs> More blood. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Why? Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Maybe that's what the smoke was at Priscilla's seeing yesterday that I couldn't investigate for some reason. Why, why, why can't I click on it? Eyes. Here we go. Humanoid, completely rotten. Ugh. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Nothing interesting here. It's probably where he, that's how he broke his toe or did something to his ankle or something, right? Hi. Hmm. Looked at your sculptures. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm-hmm. The women especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitale. Mm -hmm. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that will crush her back. <laughs> Whittle him down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple. And the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Who was that preacher? I already know what happened. 
Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered. Then tortured. For a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard. Then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But... why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Yeah. Fine. We've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. I like how Gus was like, I don't need to know anymore, and Geralt just keeps going. <laughs> it's like, whatever, I'm going to tell you the whole story whether you want to hear it or not. All right, well, last person we need to talk to is the Eustace, the corpse In collector. Racial hygiene. Uh, this city, and personal hygiene. I've got the most... Um, you know, uh, all right, I just range of goods uh, around. I'm still going with a well, I don't know. I don't want to believe all of the priests of the eternal fire are evil, all of them, but like, <laughs> trying to we met kind of one who was nice, the alchemist guy who sold his alchemy stuff. He didn't seem too terrible, but like, I'm, I'm still gonna go with a corrupt priest of the eternal fire who feels like he's doing the world a favor no by no coin or a shot. I, I don't I don't know making an example the of these people fire, but oh it's just so bad the witch sure comes in handy at times what's going on over here uh, oi right, witcher coroner wants to see you been another victim told me to say the main door will be open for you you're to come as soon as you can grace but I, I want to talk to the corpse collector first. Which one's Eustace? Bloody bandits! Can't go out in the streets, no. You, Eustace, the corpse collector. I. How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. Collected other bodies with those injuries? One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. Mm-hmm. You searched him? You searched Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. <laughs> um, I advise you not to piss me off. Yeah, I'm not paying this guy. I'm just gonna Jedi mind trick him to get my answer. Let's cut to the chase. <laughs> Talk. What did you find on him? I, oh, I had you wish. <laughs> Triflings, baubles, glow speeded wing, handful of coins. And a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I wipe off the right inner cell, it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. Uh... <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Boy, fucking hell. What was that for? <laughs> for everything. Yep. What a jerk. I mean, I get looking out for yourself, but like, you know people are being murdered left, right, front, and center. People that nobody Many cares about. You people just like you, and you're like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. I I'm just gonna get what's mine. <sighs> again. This quest is rough. Welcome, Master Witcher. Hi. 
All right, let's go talk to the coroner again and see about another victim. This is just awful. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Thanks. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. So you and Von Gretz, why don't you get along? By the way, you and Von Gretz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Yeah, that's... Uh, okay, that's a lot to unpack. Uh, you do look a little young to be Von Gratz's teacher. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Really? Okay. That makes no sense, but okay. Uh, who's the victim? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Ah. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Mm. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. So you and Nathaniel don't get along. Nathaniel's the uh, ex-torturer priest. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. <laughs> He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. What the hell? Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, what a psycho. Maybe he's the murderer. Hmm. Well, let's start the autopsy, I guess. Yay. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. <gasps> Do you know her? Yeah. Yes. He even went to her estate once with... Tris. Gotta find her, now. Oh no! Oh no! We need to go and save Patricia! Okay, let's read the letter. Patricia Vagelbud's concerned citizen. Um, let's read my character updates. I forget who the character updates are for. <laughs> okay, here's one of them. He wrote Relk, I can't say his last name correctly. Furthermore, it was clear that he there was bad blood between him and Joaquin Von Gratz, a fact that uh, did little to improve the already rather stiff atmosphere at the morgue. Uh, Huber proposed to help the Witcher perform an autopsy on the serial killer's latest victim, which revealed valuable new clues. Yes, yes, it did. Okay, I think that was my only character update. If not, I will I'll worry about Until it next later. time, Master. Yes. Okay, let's find a fast travel point, because I need to go out there. So let's head to Hierarch Square. Yeah, the last time I went there was with Triss to save her son, right? And, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
on a pilgrimage to the temple of the eternal fire. Okay. okay. I, I wouldn't really go right now. I feel like they're kind of a hot mess, but you do you. Okay, um, let's go to the wheat fields, then I'll summon Roach. Oh, he's already here. She's already here. One of these days. I'll get, Not so fast, Roach. I'll get the horse's gender right. Come on. Let's go and save someone, hopefully. She seemed like a nice, rich lady. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. So sorry. Won't let them boss you around, eh? Hide the wenches, witch is coming! I haven't heard that in a while. Why can't I go in? Why can't I go in? Excuse me, sir, I need to go in. What do you want? Uh, I need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, you'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Hurry up. Come on. We gotta go save her. Okay, she's still alive. Whew. Oh, Geralt. What a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. Um, I thought that was Patricia for some reason. <laughs> no time to explain. We gotta go. <laughs> No time to explain. Trust me, please. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Yes, let's go. Please, follow me. Hurry up. Why is it taking so long? A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books in Signia's reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Yeah, we really need to hurry. Come on, come on, Ingrid. Oh, her mom's gonna be dead, isn't she? Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. Open the door. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh no. He... he ran out the other door! Catch him! Come on, girls. Oh, headache again. Oh no! Just run past the dogs! Spread out! Murder is still here! Uh There he is! Game! I'm not the murderer! Where is he at? Ugh. I didn't do this, guys. Oh no. This is not going well at all. <laughs> I really don't want to fight all you guys. I just want to find the murderer. Okay, I guess I'm gonna to have to fight you guys. You guys. Good lord, these guys are kicking my butt. Holy crap! Finally got two down. 
Maybe I shouldn't have just ran through all of them and pulled the room, basically. Halt! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes! Oh, no. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. Oh. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. Oh, no. Did I fail the quest? Oh, no. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. Oh, you idiot. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she burnt books. Might have gotten bored of whores and beggars. No, because she blasphemed the eternal fire. That's why this guy is doing it. Because she blasphemed the eternal fire. Only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Jeez. Oh, I feel like I was so close. So close. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer. And why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder. Not just the name, but the place, too. Won't get away this time. I hope. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. What's this sparkly for? Concerned citizen sermon? Remember, good people, that the fire devours everything in its path, sparing no one and stopping for nothing. The fire burns all sinners alike, but be they paupers or princes, men or non-humans, weak or powerful. Whoever breaks its commandments, whoever does not heed the church's counsel, whoever worships false gods, the same shall be turned to ash in its flame. Live then in the truth of the eternal fire. Listen to its holy men, for they are your shepherd, concerned citizen. It's totally got to be a priest of the eternal fire. Is there something else? Oh, there was one other thing, it looks like. Another empty formaldehyde bottle. All right, let's uh, go find sweet Nettie at Crippled Kate's. Oh, Ingrid, I am so sorry, sweetie. Oh, but if your stupid guards hadn't gotten the stupid way, you guys had to ask all your stupid questions and just let me in. <laughs> it's fine, it's not fine, but it's fine. God, my... Running is bad today. All right, well, I'm going to get to a fast travel point and get close to Crippled Kate's, and I will meet you there as I get closer. All right, we are back in the city of Novigrad again, <laughs> and let's try to get to Crippled Kate's, which is this way, and then the entrance, I think, is over here. Here it is. Here it is, right here. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs, but she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Get out of the way. <laughs> uh, we need to go upstairs again. Where is she? Where is she? <gasps> no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. Uh, I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. I doubt it. Try it, you bastard. There was a question one, I should have asked that one. Shut up and fight.
Oops. My bad. Oh, that's, I feel better now. I feel better now. I feel lots better now. Jerk. Let's uh, undo her. You're free now. Uh-huh. He asked if I did everything, and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. What a crazy person. There was a thing where I could have asked why, I think, in, in, in his uh, quick response, but I'll do that next time, it's fine. It's not fine, I'm totally okay with chopping his head off. Completely okay with it. Where are the dang stairs? I'm so, there we go. Hey there, handsome. Hi. Sorry, I was so rude before, you but I had, had to save had to save your friend. Oh, it's <laughs> very angry. Just wanted to chop his head off. All right, we need to go talk to Pretty Dandelion cool, about. Mm. Didn't look that way. What's going on? I will kill you. Take him from the back! Oh, no. They killed him! Looking for a bruising. What's going on? Must be mad running around with this, right? I have a key. I... What? I'm... Hmm. Didn't look that right. What's happening around here? I don't know. Walter? Glad of fuck off. Must be mad running around in this rain. Good folk, call the guards. Here. Good folk, call the guards. Huh? Watch where you're walking. No, you watch where you're walking. Damn. Oh. Ah. Can I? What's going on in here? Townsman? I. I don't understand. You know what? It's fine. I don't need to understand. <laughs> okay. Well, I am going to head back to... It's not the Rosemary Time. It's something else. I, I, I forget what it called. It's not Scorpion. It's something. <laughs> it's some sort of crustacean, isn't it? Anyway, well, I'm going to run back to Dandelion's place, and and I will meet you there, because it's a it's a runaway. It's, a far, it's far away. Those are the right words. All right. Well, the reason it was so far away is because we're going to the, the doctor's office, the hospital. The Vilmaris Hospital, not Rosemary and Time, or the place formerly known as Rosemary and Time. Ugh, words, words are hard. <laughs> okay, let's quick save and go. Um, where? Oh, <clears throat> oh there's a door here, dummy. Here we go. How's better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah, the witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt, for me and Priscilla. There is no need to thank me. Obviously I would do this because it's Priscilla and you asking, but I did do my part, Dandelion, and now you need to look after her. Did my part, your turn now. Take care of her, good care. Mm -hmm. I will. You'll see. 
Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. That'd be nice. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? It does. Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Oh, our little dandelion seems to be all grown up now. Well, let's see if we can talk to any of them. Geralt? Hi. Hello, Joachim. Yes, Geralt? Found the murderer. Found and killed the murderer. It was Nathaniel. Caught him red-handed at Kate's. He was just about to cut into his next victim. Innkeeper wanted to keep me out. Important customer, he said. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. It might have, eventually. Well, let's see. Oh, ask about Shawnee. We haven't heard about Shawnee since, like, Witcher 1. Let's ask about that one. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shawnee. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. <laughs> Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, <laughs> you can't argue with them. It's a pretty good description of Shawnee. She was very idealistic. So why is the university in Oxenfurt closed? I feel like we already know the answer to this, but let's ask it anyway. Why is the university in Oxenfurt closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. Ah. I've been at Vilmerius Hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. I feel like that's a bad... <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't phrase it that way because we heard about your skill with the scalpel. But that that explains... I mean, I knew it was Radovid who shut the university down, but now, now I understand more why. So anyway, the coroner told me about your past. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Okay. I... I have no other option other than to say farewell. <laughs> farewell. That was a really good quest. I really like that quest. It was very interesting. Very detective-like. But let me look for the updated quest text. Well, Geralt's investigation took him to Crippled Kate's uh, Pleasure House. Hang on. Nope, that is the latest update. Geralt's investigation took him to Crippled, Crippled Kate's, a pleasure house of questionable repute. It is there, according to the note left by the murderer in Patricia Vengelbud's body, that the fiend would take his next victim, a prostitute named Sweet Nettie. Geralt entered the room and found the Reverend Nathaniel, whom he had met earlier at the morgue inside. The situation was clear. Nathaniel was standing over Nettie with a white hot poker in his hand. So Geralt meted out justice to this cruel and perverted man without batting an eye. Yeah, I, I, yep. I should have asked the question because to get his like twisted mind side of the story, but we'll do that next time. This time I just really wanted to kill him. <laughs> but 
anyway, that wraps up the last uh, secondary quest, I think, in Novigrad that I can do. I want to try to wrap up Gwent Big City Players tomorrow. High stakes, one of you kindly recommended that I need to put this off quite a ways towards the end of the game, you said. So I'm going to take your suggestion and do that, which I'm totally fine with. But I think we can finish Gwent Big City Players, probably at least Dijkstra and one other person in Gwent to defeat. And then we will head to Skellige. I know I've been saying this for like two days now, but maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> like I said, all I want for Christmas is to be in Skellige and I still got a few more days to go. But anyway, uh, tomorrow I will meet you closer to Dijkstra's place so we can play Gwent and then we will go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video. Oh, sweet.